All right, hockey fans or Ranger fans, as you see the title, you're probably wondering who is this guy. My name is Eric. My friends call me Jaws. Fluffy is the dog. Now, who am I? I've been making Florida Panther videos on YouTube for eight seasons now. Hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 8,000 subscribers after eight seasons. Now, you may or may not have been across this channel. The Panthers and Rangers don't exactly have a huge playoff history uh, certainly not anything recent. So, I just kind of wanted to make a short little video to let you guys know how we run things around here. Now, like I said, we've been doing this for eight seasons. Now, why have you not heard of us? Well, we were making hockey skit videos. My son and I were making hot hockey skit videos long before it was popular. And the main reason you probably didn't hear of us the first four or five years was not just because the Panthers weren't really good, but, well, the skit videos will, well, as an example, chicken, donkey, stay, good, bad, indifferent, sometimes old man, pancakes. There you have it, irrefutable evidence that Yermir Yager is about to leave the Florida Panthers. Let's try and get him back, fans. Right. So we've gotten better. Now, we do live streams. We do recaps of every game. I keep saying we. My son and I live stream the games. I come in here and yell at the camera. Now, the way that the recaps go is a little bit different. I'm the only one uh, in all of the sports, I think, that actually does it this way. I'll do an intro like everybody else does, and then I'll do a pregame. Then I'm going to come on after the first period, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. I'm going to come on after the second period, usually yell at the camera because the Panthers play really bad second periods, then I will have a segment before any and each and all and any and overtime, right? So like one overtime, two overtimes, three overtimes, four overtimes. I'm here yelling at the camera before the start of each overtime. And then, of course, I do a post-game segment. Now, number one, hockey is fun. It's supposed to be fun, all right? So if you want to yell and scream and get nasty with somebody, go do that to Eck or Johnny Hockey or something. They're a lot younger than I am. Try to keep in mind that, based on my analytics, there's a halfway decent chance I'm old enough to be your father. And, based on further analytics, if your mom was running around any of the resorts in the Freeport, Bahamas area, uh, late 80s, early 90s, there's a halfway decent chance I might actually be your father. So there's that. Should I leave that in? What the hell? Let's leave it in. Now, in terms of the hockey, number one, I clap a lot. Number two, if you're going to come watch the recaps, more the merrier. I love fans of other teams. I didn't build the channel just on the backs of Florida Panthers fans. As an example, like 20% of the channel are Lightning fans. One minor little suggestion, and then a couple of boundaries. If you're going to watch the recap and comment on the recap, do yourself a favor and don't just watch the post game. And the reason why I say that is because I'm giving you my in the moment manic opinion after the first and after the second a lot of times i'm correcting things in the post game that i said earlier a lot of times i say things during the intermission segments that i need to touch on later and have to clarify so if you only watch the post game or you only watch the pregame in the post game you miss a lot of the context of the videos and if you leave comments missing that context I have a lot of rabid supporters. They're going to let you know. Now, if you come to the live streams, everybody is welcome. Be cool. That's the rule is be cool. All right? That's all you got to do. No nastiness. None of that. Uh, you know, we're not celebrating injuries, things like that. I will give you a word of advice, a, a, a friendly little warning here. Um, our main moderator, MJ, works all day comes home, throws money at Kyle and I, and then moderates your comments. So don't test them, okay? Because I'm not about to rein them in. And if you piss them off, you're gone, all right? And it is what it is. <laughs> Hopefully MJ's laughing at that. You know I love you, brother. Now, keep in mind, it's a fan channel. If we win, I'm going to be excited. If we lose or are losing, I'm liable to blow a gasket. Nobody subscribe to this channel to watch me be calm, cool, and collective. There's plenty of hockey content out there that does that. No disrespect, some of those guys are really good friends of mine. That's not me. You're not gonna find that. You're not gonna find cool, calm, collective, and most of the time, if I misspeak, I'm just gonna leave it in. Oh, that's the other thing. I'm gonna butcher the names. Don't please, you can correct me all you want, and that's fine, but I'm gonna butcher the names. 
When I turn off the camera, I'm going to say the name correct 10 times. And then in front of the camera, I'm going to go, Zabanajit. Zabanajit. I'm not going to get it right most of the time. It just is what it is. Last thing, I only have one real rule in the comments. Now, it basically revolves around the following narrative. Florida Panthers have no fans. Yeah, we got fans, okay? Florida hockey fans don't know the sport. You'd be surprised how many of the Florida hockey fans are old-timers from way back when, before the Rangers even thought about winning their last cup. You see what I'm saying? Lastly, I really only have two rules if I see a comment that it's going to be out, okay? And this is just a pet peeve of mine. If you tell me I don't know the sport, you're out. And if you leave a clown emoji directed at anybody, anybody except Trey. Trey's allowed to do this. That's it, all right? But the clown emoji is such a cheap, narcissistic way to pretend you just want an argument without having the argument. I will not. I, I can't. I can't have it. I can't have it. If you have to unsubscribe because you left the clown emoji and I removed it, that's fine. We're all cool. All right? No harm, no foul. Like I said, we're here to have fun. All right? We've had a lot of good new people. We had new you know, people from the Canes, people from the Bruins, people from the Leafs. The Leafs fans, I mean, the Leafs fans have even been nice. All right? The only issues we had on the streams at all were last year during the Eastern Conference Finals where some Leaf fans were making fake accounts and saying nasty things on the stream. We'll just leave it at that. So, Ranger fans, you're welcome. Everybody's welcome. We don't play favorites here in terms of who's allowed to say what, except for Trey and MJ. That's it. Don't piss off MJ. I'm telling you that, that. Come to the streams. Have a great time. Throw us some money. I got a dog that needs a lot of CBD. Don't make MJ mad. It won't end good for you. All right. We'll see you on Wednesday.